Have you ever seen a Shaolin monk before? Maybe it's because they're, you're not supposed to. No, that's ninjas. I'm thinking of the ninjas. As somebody who has recently ventured into new sport and competing in it, and also has a mutual online creator friend, hopefully we can call ourselves that. I don't even know, it's it's Ranton. Ranton? Rantone. And should I say we're friends if I don't know how to, tell us how to say your name, man. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I wanna know how to say your name. He recently entered a jujitsu tournament. Here's the interesting part about it. Shaolin monks can't fight, okay? I'm just gonna say it. Let's get into this video. Who said Shaolin monks can't fight? No. <laughs> Just kidding, my first fight was actually more like this. <laughs> I want to take you through all of it. My fights, my mindset, my first impressions on competitions in general. If Shaolin Kung Fu helped me or not. And that some cliches are very true. A lot of ground to cover, so uh, let's get started. I want three of his shirts. I don't know where he got this shirt from. I'm not a monk, so I don't know if I'm allowed to wear this. I want one. Can I have it? Can I have, I'll give you one of mine. I don't, I don't know if I have any shirts that you would want, but. My very first competition was a disaster. And I'm not even talking about the fight yet. It was a small local gym, you know, which was okay for me. I didn't even know if the whole competition vibe was for me. Well, it turns out I had one fight, only one fight. I arrived oh. at 8 a.m. for the weigh-in. I didn't eat breakfast because I didn't want to puke on the mat. I ended up fighting at 1 p.m. So I waited for five hours. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, no, it's always like a, especially once you first get into something, like knowing whether or not you should eat. I typically, if I'm going to a sumo tournament or I guess the judo tournament too, I would eat like two protein bars. Not enough that I'm gonna be like, but enough that I, I have something in my stomach. Yeah, no, training a whole bunch of time and then having one jiu-jitsu match is like jiu-jitsu is kind of notorious for that <laughs> let's see let's see how it goes i hated it and it's not like i could have left because i have to be ready at any moment not used to that kind of stuff so then eventually the fight started my very first fight i want to know what's on the screen man what's the deal with the screen and the guy why can't do they just not want to be involved did the tv screen not give you consent or this guy or that that these two make sense i guess but what's up what's the deal with the screen As you can tell but i am not nervous here at all that's weird because my whole life i've always been a very nervous person i told you the story before when i threw up after performing at the shaolin temple i don't know man performance anxiety or something but here nothing completely calm at vistaprint we print everything to show off your brand can you Print me rant on shirt. Zen. I've discovered Zen after leaving the temple. Too calm, in fact. I think this is one of my biggest issues. I'm way too passive and chill. Anyways, we do some grip fighting and ultimately he goes for a single leg. I, I don't know how to counter that yet, so I decide to hold on to him and get on my back. Two points, whatever. I hate you. Try to get- I mean, you could say that's- well, I guess he took the leg first, right? So is it pulling guard if they took the leg? I don't know. I don't really know jujitsu. I'm a three-stripe white belt. But as far as like being calm, I don't think there's an issue with being calm, especially in jujitsu. Other sports, if you're too calm, I could see how that could be a problem. But if you're not striking each other, and especially if it's gi jujitsu where everything's kind of slower in the first place, I think it's okay to be calm. Get up. Didn't work. Bruh. Tried to guillotine. Ooh. Didn't work. Bruh. Don't be mad, okay? But I'm fairly confident for a white belt in my guard and my sweeps. Uh, so that's what I did. Eh, no. Scissor Ooh, sweep good. failed. Bruh. I don't know what this sweep is called. It failed too. Because he could post with his right arm. Yikes. At this point, I see my wife and I do whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, baby. Did you see what I almost did there? I don't know how well it translated, but I just attempted something. I saw that. I think, I'm not sure what you're alluding to because you tried a couple things and they all like almost, they almost worked. I think, I don't, I don't know. Maybe she does jujitsu too. And she was like, pull the right knee down, pull the right knee down. No, you got to twist. You got to twist. Get over top, over top. I don't know. They, there's definitely relationships like that. So maybe, maybe that's one of them. Wife and I do whatever this is. It's funny, you know, everyone told me before this fight that competitions are way different than sparring. You get tunnel vision and it's super hardcore intense. My experience was the complete polar opposite. This felt exactly they like sparring to me. Maybe the energy level from my opponent was a bit higher than usual and the fight was a bit longer, but generally it was very much the same. It's sparring with an audience and it's very loud. We cuddle a little bit more and I wave hi again to my wife. My buddy here told me that when he saw me do that, he wanted to slap me over the head. I spent some more time trying to sweep him, but his coach kept reminding him of that, which made it, yeah, Oh, he's going for it. Then, finally, movement. I try to get up, but it fails, and now I'm a little afraid that he was gonna pass my guard, but I'm able to get my butterfly hooks in again. We get reset, and I tell the referee that this is a lot of fun. And I tell my opponent that he's doing a great job. Before you say anything, it's called psychological warfare, okay? And I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might be a little too chill there, buddy. You might have zooed a little too close to the sun, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, I guess it's, it's 
a totally fair game plan to have in jujitsu is to like be chill and calm. But <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess flirting could be a technique in jujitsu. It's a very like uh, it's a very close sport. I personally like to make some jokes when uh, practicing, uh, as far as sumo goes. Um, like I'll, I'll I'll give some some nippy twists, or I'll um, or I'll fake bite my opponent. Um, I'll talk to people mid match, but I've never done that in a live like a like a going going match. I've never made any jokes, but we have a little less time. What can I say? Okay, I'm a nice guy. Are you kidding? Huh? Who cares? It's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Okay. We managed to stand up. He gets that takedown. Two more points for him. He ends up kicking the TV. Ah. I talk to my buddy. My wife tells me how much time is left and we get reset again. This time with only 38 seconds left to the fight. So I'm thinking something's gotta happen. So I try the Kimura sweep. I can't get my arm in. Then I hear my wife yelling, which was so cute that it made me uh, laugh. Now I'm thinking there is nothing really left to do. So I thought I'm just gonna try to get a cross collar choke. Only problem, I've never done that choke. Uh, I don't really know how to how it works, but. Jiu Jitsu is all made up, man. Just do, just do it. Go for it. The only time I've ever ended up in a crucifix, totally by accident. Ultimate Self Defense Championship, season, uh, episode five, which you were in too, by the way. That should come out eventually. Only time I've ever ended up in a crucifix, totally by accident. I was just like, oh, this is a cool position. It's all made up. They teach you techniques, they don't matter. Just like do stuff, you know? I think, I don't know. Lo and behold, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, dang it, he got me. to breathe heavily, but it was bull I had no idea what I was doing and that was it. I lost, zero to four. <laughs> I Tough. had so much fun though. It was awesome. And even though up until right before the fight, the entire experience was terrible, the fight itself convinced me that I gotta do this again. Especially because mm. one fight, come on, man. And you didn't think I was gonna make a video on only this snooze fest of a fight now, did ya? No, no, no. I participated in another competition. This one was much more professional and larger in scope. This time my wonderful coach Asa went with me and as we approached the location, he tells me, enough jokes. I know you're a nice guy, Anton, but when you step onto the mat, you have to want to destroy your opponent. You can be nice after the fight, but you need to get into the killer mindset. You gotta destroy him. So I responded. So with therapy, it sounds like it's helped you. Yeah, get out of here, the goat Tom the Brady. That you are today Go get help. roasted. With peace and love, with peace. What just happened? Did I just get jump scared? You gotta destroy him. So I responded. With peace and love, with peace and love. I wish I wouldn't have re I wish I wouldn't have rewinded that. Oh, it made me uncomfy. I'm a monk. No, jokes. But uh, 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 that is just totally never gonna be my mindset. It's just not my approach. I don't wanna hurt anyone. I just wanna, girls just wanna have fun, okay? BJJ is never gonna be my career. I'm too old. I'm never gonna be a world champion and I don't wanna be a, I just really enjoy it. And if the other guy wins, I don't mind. I wanna have a fun fight. I don't have this epic Sigma mother mentality it's just it's just not who i am and it'll never be and maybe i feel that way about everything except for sumo which is really funny like it took like if i were to go to a jiu-jitsu tournament i i could care less i could lose that's totally fine if i went to a judo tournament i could lose that's totally fine i don't want to i'm gonna try and win for sure but if i do lose it, you know whatever ultimate self-defense i was definitely upset about losing i wanted to win that but i can totally understand how he feels here like it's a it's a game it's a sport, It's a, but it's a game, you know? It's simulated violence. You're not supposed to actually reach violence in this sport. So it makes sense that, like, why would your brain reach violence, you know? That's also why I'm not nervous before the fights. Because whatever happens, I'm okay with it. And to prove that, I'm gonna win this next fight in opposite world. Yeah, uh, the first fight, uh, not good. Um, nothing exciting happens at all. It's literally just me on the ground and the dude in cycle. Why does this guy I have a red faces, belt? But this one was extremely underwhelming. And even I didn't enjoy this one that much. I lost my points. Also, I almost got disqualified before this fight too because I was too heavy for my weight class. Ooh. Then I took three big shits and that did it. Uh, not even joking. Uh, I shouldn't have had that do not tell. <laughs> how do you take, how do you, how do you do three though? Is, is what I'm curious of. Like one big one, sure. But three? How do you get three in is what I want. It's okay. On the night before, yeah. It was good though. Now, before we go on to the next two fights that I have both won by submission. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. I am a lazy fighter. I am lazy. I love to sit down on my ass and play God. That's what I enjoy. Sometimes during class, I have to scream at myself in my head. Like, don't be lazy. Get up, you little phantom mochon When I'm in a bad position, I don't want to exert myself too much to escape. I just wait. This isn't judo where you win by holding me for 20 seconds. I like to wait for my opponent to transition into another position and then find an opening or an opportunity to escape or sweep or whatever. If someone got me in a strong control position, I'm not gonna fight it. I just wait. It's probably a bad approach, but th that's, that's, that's what it is right now, okay? So because this first fight was pretty much an epic fail, I realized I gotta switch on, man. I, I gotta do something. Stop being 
lazy. I gotta go after it a little bit. Be more music crescendo. Next fight. Next fight. The fight starts and this time I had a plan for a takedown. So we both established grips. I plan to go for Kataguruma and just waiting for my chance to strike. My coach yells. My opponent takes that as a hint that shit's about to go down and he initiates the takedown. Because I got good grips though and he's just swinging me around, I'm not too afraid and I managed to like sweep him with the momentum that he created. I pass the guard and end up in side control. You see, I'm happy about that. My coach not so much, he's telling me to concentrate. I try to get to mount and move around him. Stop freaking looking, stop flirting with me right now. Stop it. I'm not your wife. I bet that is frustrated as his coach. <laughs> just like anytime anything happens, he's like, oh. ah! Huh? No, put me down. Ah! Little too much with not enough control and and. Look, get that. Oh man, you could have had the crucifix right there. The made up move that I made up. Take that left leg. Just get, obviously I don't know, so don't crucify me. <laughs> um, take that left leg. Wrap up his arm. It's like the equivalent of like, stand up, bro. Just stand up. You know. End up being pushed on my back. Sadly for him. I am a power bottom. So I get a nice spider guard and chill there for a while. He manages to get free and the coach uh, keeps telling me to stop relaxing and do something. I do the little BJJ butt scoot towards my opponent. Really? Don't show this to Jesse Enkamp. He tries to get past me, <laughs> fails, and I finally do manage to get my scissor oh. sweep and mount. Some time passes with me trying to work his arms up, but the dude is strong, I can't do it. You definitely don't seem tired. Off, and I'm back to where I feel the most comfortable, on my back, like your mom, uh, owned. He puts a lot of pressure on me, but I notice he can't pose on his right side since I trapped his leg and I'm holding his right arm on his stomach. I get to mount, finish the job with an arm bar. Hey! With a quick tap too. Must have been deep. Now that was a super fun fight. My first W, even with a submission. Let's go! Yeah! You did it! <laughs> okay, no time to waste. The next fight starts right away. The dude is Ooh. trying to foot sweep me, but that ain't happening, brother. I go for a Katakuruma finally, Ooh. but that ain't mm. happening either, brother. <laughs> we dance around a bit more, and as he grabs my leg, he exposes his back. What I do when people grab my leg, just from very minimal jujitsu experience, and a lot of kicking people and them catching my leg, this is very unasked for advice. I pick up the leg and I put it on the outside of his butt here. So foot goes to butt, knee goes on the inside, and I try and post out. That's what I do. If I feel like they want something the other way, then I'll put it on the inside and try and take my foot and go knee in front of their knee and then foot behind their opposite knee. But it kind of depends what they're going for. So you have to like swim back and forth with it. Pose this back and I decide I'm gonna try a Tomonaga or Zumigashi or Yakitori Nagasaki, whatever. To be fair, you know a lot more. I don't know how many of those words were made up, but you know a lot more of these, uh, is it Portuguese? It's kind of funny that it's like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. None of this is in Portuguese, is it? Sadly, he posed with both hands, not enough oh! momentum. Rush. Luckily, he lands in my guard and I let him fight my hands a little bit. I'm trying to go for an arm bar here. I mean, why not? I just won with an arm bar, but I can't get the angle. We remain entangled here for a while and then the unthinkable happens. He scratches me. Ow! Do not open the door after sunset. Guys, subscribe to my second channel so I can get YouTube Premium. I don't even like scary. No, back to mount because he was scared that I'd lose the position. Oh. So I get back to mount and get the tap. Does that count as getting back? Like, do you get the points for mount? It seems that you. T yeah. Okay, you got the tap anyway. Do you get more points if you are in mount and then leave mount and then go back to mount if they are in a submission the whole time? But also. You did it again, man. <laughs> I knew you could. My beard is wet from licking it. 100% of my wins are by submission. In other words, I'm a god. In other words, I have proven that Shaolin Kung Fu works. No way. <laughs> Yeah, not really. I, I do wonder to what extent my experience with Kung Fu has helped me. I would put it like this. Maybe you need to know how to move a little bit and Shaolin Kung Fu does teach you how to move uh, in the sense that it improves your coordination and flexibility. Two things that are, I would say, vital to any sport, but application-wise, technique-wise, not at all. Or at least not in ways I've noticed. I think Shaolin is a fantastic gateway drug. If you're good at Shaolin, you'll have an easier time transitioning to any other martial art because it includes so many things. Or you'll be stuck in an endless feedback loop buying essential oils, tiger dick, and praying to false idols. Boom, roasted. BJJ. Sorry, was that a, the, uh, was that the, 
A has a weird addictive quality to it that I just checking to see if he was talking about the big cat. Sport. I know I will train it as long as my body will allow it. Now, by all means, I haven't fought a lot. Four fights are nothing, really. I, I, I plan to do it many more times, but I've already come to realize that there's a lot I hate about participating in BJJ competitions. I actually hate everything about it. Yo, I've heard that people are not so pleasant. <laughs> That's just what I've heard. Except the fights. The fights are awesome, but I hate having to drive for hours. I hate that I have to find a dog sitter for Sammy. The unfamiliar changing rooms. I know I'm old, sorry. Even though I'm not nervous, all the people around me that are practicing their moves kind of drive me crazy. It's way too busy. It's chaotic. It's not always clear when you fight. The whole vibe really isn't for me. I just enjoy the fights. And the cliche that I mentioned in the beginning is that people always say you learn more from losing and that is unironically so true. It sounds like loser talk, but goddamn, the fights I won, I didn't look at the videos a lot because it's like one and done. But the fights that I lost, I watched them over and over again. I checked for big mistakes and what to change going forward. It's the most cringe ass cliche, but man, I feel it's very, very true. And lastly, I have to file a comp- You're out exactly why. I think that's part of what makes you better than people who are getting better by just training. BJ gods, whoever is in charge, Mr. BJJ, there's one thing I hate about the rule set. I hate that people around and especially coaches are allowed to say anything to their students during the fight. I think that is total bullshit. Let me explain. The point of competing, to me, is to see who's better. It's a 1v1, eins gegen eins. I don't want to fight you and your coach. If I notice an opportunity for a submission, but my opponent doesn't, but his coach does, and yells, dude, he's going for X, and then I don't get it, I think that is total shit and unfair. It's you versus me and nobody else. And the same goes. You look over at their screen to see where they are on the map. I've, I've never done a jujitsu competition, so I'm not really familiar with this or what this feels like to be doing something and then they call something out. I've sparred where somebody tells the other person what to do, but I've never had to deal with this in jujitsu, especially in competition. Everything I've done, like judo, it was really hard to hear what was going on. Um, sumo, it's like there's no way you can possibly hear or be able to make an adjustment fast enough. But yeah, jujitsu, I guess it makes sense. That's, I can see how that would be frustrating for sure. But also if you don't want so much crowd interaction, maybe you shouldn't be flirting with them so much. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I hate companions in video games for the exact same reason. Don't steal my kills, bro. If I win, I want it to be because of me. If I lose, same thing. I want to own the result. I actually told my coach about this and he said, I just have to accept uh, that this is the way it is and it won't change, I guess. Uh, is there anywhere out there who's on the same page as me? Anyone? Competition should be mano a mano. And